well now that's dried um, you can see how we've got this soft um, pigment here this cool uh, cool background and then we have this uh, greeny area where it's more coming to the foreground there these rocks are beautiful I love these where they just gently blend out when we put our next layers on that's going to be really useful that now we've got this is where we see we've got a slight a slight uh, upturn there a little bit of a a U bend going along there where we've got the shape of the road it's going in slightly because of you know the wear and the horses or wear has been going on that guy on the bike going down for his loaf of bread um, so there and we've got the shadows here these shadows just blended into them these are all going to be worked upon um, the the green has, has blended into some of these buildings and that may be useful might not be don't know but at least it's there we can always go over it so it isn't an issue um, and now what we want to do is fix these roofs these roofs in <coughs> so here we go I'm still using a um, the same size brush for this it's a number 14 there we go it's a number 14 brush I got it from the Skoda really nice it's from the Perla range. Yeah, you can get them from uh, Jackson's. Uh, in fact, that's the only place I know that you can get them from in this country. But they're fantastic. They hold a load of water, and they they maintain a a, a real lovely point to them. So I'm now gonna put some roofs in. Now these roofs are a mixture of um, burnt sienna, Indian red, orange, and yellows as well, and some greens. These are quite greeny at the bottom. So I'm going to start from this roof here. This this roof down here. So. This is only going to be an under painting, so I'll have another two layers on here. And I want to differentiate the layers just by changing the colour slightly on each one. So if I've done a very ready colour on one side, I'll do a so like an orange colour on the on the next one. And I'm not worried about covering all of the paper. It's nice to leave a few little speckles of white here just has a bit of spontaneity to it and right on the back there and you see what I mean about the the, the, the point it's very important to get this get a brush with a a very good point at the end because you can like draw with it as well as well as paint with it I'm going to fetch these chimney pots down here, chimney stacks. I'm kind of joining these roofs in there. These ones a little bit darker. These these chimney stacks here. We have a couple of chimney pots. I'm not going to be too strict about it. Just as long as they they balance out and they look nice. There are quite a few pots here, so I do need to emphasise that. A bit dark there, and now I'll add a bit of red. And 
some bit of orangey part there. I'll tell you what, I'm going to stick a little bit of yellow in this. I mean, it's called gold hill, isn't it? So, it just brightens it up towards the, the centre of the painting. Don't want that bead to run. But if it doesn't, if it does, it's not the end of the world. So I'm just dragging paint out of there. Yellow here, bit of orange, cadmium orange, and a bit of Indian red at the top here. Now there isn't a chimney part of the top of that, it's just a chimney stack, so I'm going to be true to that. Just leave a little edge there. It's as if the light has hit it, you know. Now this one does have a chimney pot, so now this was quite a reason red and that's so gonna put a little bit of let's put a bit of red in this. See what happens. We can always go over it. That's nice, isn't it? It's only a, it's a light wash of red, 